What's up, guys? Welcome to the Something Stony Podcast. Sort of, uh, I was in sort of a weird funk, sort of a weird mood today, and uh, we, we were talking a little earlier before the show. Yeah, uh, I won't go into too much detail as to why, but uh, I will say that um, you know I started smoking and I, I feel better. But it's it's interesting because I've heard people talk about like they want to cut back on their weed consumption because they feel like it numbs it it numbs them rather than helps them with their feelings, which I understand mm. because. I, I, I remember having a very profound feeling. Of, it wasn't a great feeling, but it was a profound feeling uh, about a thing that happened. And um, Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then once I started smoking, I'm like, I don't have any feelings. <laughs> I'm just high. And sometimes you need that. Sometimes that's the beauty of weed. You just need to be mm-hmm. numbed out. But um, So I understand that argument. But one thing that it does... Uh, is that it, it helps you appreciate some of the smaller things. I, I kind of puts you in a good headspace. So hmm. I'm just focusing on uh, on some good things, like uh, like that cool shirt you're wearing. Like the yeah, I've, I've had this shirt. You know, <laughs> I, <fucking> I, <laughs> I I just remembered where I got this shirt. I got this shirt at uh, my local J C Penney's was closing. <laughs> Dude, rip J C Penney and um, rock on and. They still had a bunch of old Halloween clothes and shit. So when they were doing their going out of business sale, they just had a whole Halloween shirt section. And I got this for like $3 or some shit. I love it. Yeah, I it's great. It it's got the arms yeah. too. Yeah, you're a skeleton yeah, boy. It's nice. It's, it's the spoopy season, so it's appropriate. Yeah, we, it's, it's a, you know that? I, I will say it, it's funny because we're doing all these episodes and we're shooting. And the beauty of this is we're going to have all these episodes lined up. But, like, it sucks because I want to talk more about Halloween because it's, like, we're in the middle of October. I'm excited for Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. You know what? I think I think for a lot of people, Halloween is all year. So why don't you go ahead and talk about Halloween? Let's do it. Okay. So, yeah, I love I love the fucking, like, like what you just did. You found that shirt for $3. I love when Halloween crap goes on sale and it's uh, – yeah. I, I, I already bought a cool little zombie, uh, zombie thing. Like it's a zombie sign that says, uh, "Don't come in, Walking Dead" or something. I don't know what it is. Um, and uh, yeah, it's um, I love this season a lot, and it's it it bums me out. We're in a fucking pandemic. Yeah, although it, the weather's finally starting to change. Yeah, right. It feel, it's uh, starting to feel like fall out there. Finally. Yeah, today was like the first day I, I felt like it was really folly. Folly. Not like folly is oh. like the folly is, you know. You know. Yeah. I move around when I, a lot, don't I? I move around. I'm like a train. I'm like a fa- freight train. Yeah, like a freight train. Exactly. I'm like a freight exactly. train. <laughs> See, I, I move a lot when I talk too, but I, I don't during the show because there's just wires and shit everywhere. Yeah, you're you you are connected, and you got a new camera, and it looks really good. I did I did? I, I look yeah. like a yeah. It's professional now. You can see more of my apartment. You can see the full half of my apartment. So I like it. I like. I I haven't been inside that apartment because you moved uh, during pandemic, right? I moved. I moved right before, like. I moved, I think, at the beginning of March. So oh, when I was moving shit in, I think after I'd moved everything in a week later, uh, lockdown. Wow. That's when wow. the lockdown started. And and I, I was still um, negotiating uh, and, and working out the, the kinks of the old apartment with the uh, ex-roommate <clears throat> slash ex- XX. So. XX. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you know okay. what? That happens. That it does. Happen. You just gotta keep that motherfucker rolling, you know? Keep that motherfucker rolling. Keep it keep it going. Keep it keep it. Keep yeah. It it's moving. the same thing, you know. It's it's yeah. it's finding finding the good good parts of life. Like I got HBO Max today. I thought I had it before, but I bought the I bought the ad the Hulu add-on. 
not the same thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I didn't know that, and it's in the fine print. I, I looked online, and there was some lion-ass motherfuckers that tried to say that, like, oh, they tell you. No, they fucking don't. Or at least they don't, not not clearly enough. No, they don't tell you. They don't, they when, don't you know. when you get the extension, you're just getting HBO shit. You're not getting the HBO Max selection, which is misleading because when you buy the extension, it says HBO Max. It says you're getting HBO Max, but you're not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because I was looking through – sorry. No, it's okay. I'm so upset about this. This is such an outrage. This is a betrayal on levels that no one's ever seen. And (laughs) I – because I would always go through the HBO Max like catalog on the actual HBO Max app. And I'm like, what? They have Mad TV. They have Whose Line Is It Anyway? They have all these old shows that I loved. Mm-hmm. And I went to go watch it. And I'm like, I can't. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Is, what am I paying for? Because it's the same price. It's mm-hmm. the same price for half same the price. shit. Yeah. 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 So I got the real HBO Max this time. And I'm pretty fucking excited about it. I'm so excited for you. Yeah. You got to watch uh, Raised by Wolves. I really, I do, really, I do. really, I really do. Yeah. yeah. I actually... I have a review, which will be, I mean, the movie will be already out. I reviewed the uh, Witches, the new version of the Witches, which um, is on HBO Max tomorrow. It's not, I mean, it's a kid's movie. Technically, mm. it's a PG movie about a, a little kid that f- discovers a gaggle of witches. I call, I call them gaggle. A I gaggle use that of word. witches? I used that in a review. I was, I was writing the review, and I'm thinking, gaggle. That sounds cool. And I, I, I probably should like make sure that works. I don't know. It's I, changed. I mean, like I, I get what you're saying. I think. I mean, that is a term for a group of something. Yeah. Right. right? It's, it's a, a, a cool murder word. of witches. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, a it's, gaggle. It's, it it kind of changes the dynamic of the review because it's such a whimsical word. If it's a kids' show, it it, it kind of sounds like that's the perfect word. I kind of feel it felt that witches. way because when I hear that, I think of I think of goofy, cartoony witches. Well, that's exactly what they are. Yeah, dude, they're you're not- a genius. See this fucking guy. I know, man. This is why you're so fucking lucky to be. <laughs> I, I know. Lucky. What? I'm in the presence of greatness, and I don't even know it. I know. Now Jace- I do. Jason's head is great. It's so I know. great. Oh my god. I love this head so much. I I went through all the Friday the Thirteenth, by the way. Every single oh, already one of them. twelve of them. Yeah, dude. I watch on a pretty much one a day, except one I watch two in a row. And my son, I think he, I was driving him crazy because I was watching just Friday the Thirteenth, just yeah. Friday the Thirteenth, and then I'd watch the extras. I haven't gotten. I mean, dude, I haven't gotten to the extras. Like I've watched a few. But I haven't gotten to the fucking extras, to the audio commentaries. I'm like, I, I, there's no way. I don't think I have enough time in my life to go through that box set. Wow, it's it's pretty exhausting. Which, it's it's weird. The older you get, like the the less I'm like, I don't really want to sit around and watch. I don't need to put it this way. I don't need to get a deep Blu-ray. Don't get me wrong. I love the extras, and if I get around to them, I absolutely watch them. But I'm not, oh, I need to watch every single moment of this Blu-ray. Yeah, I mean, some people, there's plenty of people that are, you know, especially out here in L.A., there's a lot of movie nerds that just mm-hmm. eat that shit up. And like, I, I, I used to, yeah, 100%. I, I've, watched, yeah. I've watched the commentary versions of a few movies and shows. And, mm-hmm. and Freddy Got uh, Fingered. Freddy Got Fingered. Wa- you know what I watched? The, I, I don't know all of the commentaries I've watched, but the two I remember... Viva La Bam, mm. just because yeah, I think that's probably my favorite show ever. And in case you couldn't tell by the everything about me, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and Kangaroo Jack. Wow, I was, really? I was audio camp for Kangaroo Jack. I was a kid. I was a okay. little kid. The movie had just come out, and it was my favorite movie at the time. So I'm like, I'm gonna watch the fucking commentary. Did you like? an audio commentary as a kid did it like register with you at all like yeah it was yeah no i understood what it was i mean i was a kid when i watched it for viva la bam because like i i had just bought like the because they had just released the dvds for it so i started watching that i i understood it and 
I would watch it for things that I was super into just because I had re I had watched them so many times that it was just yeah. extra content for me. Yeah, that I mean, well, to be fair, I mean, for my job, I talk to these people. So it, it's kind of like, and I, look, I don't get to rarely get to, shitty and grin while you say that. I, I it, it is. It's totally. It, it's, I can just I, ask it myself. I'm, I'm in such a privileged position in a way, like in the sense that more like a white privileged position, you piece of shit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But it, it is a weird kind of like, it's like, you know, like I, I, I I'm just kind of stunned that I've like gotten to talk to the people. Cause I'm still like, I, I still love watching movies and I still get excited by seeing a great performance and i said well hey well this brings me to something so uh there's a movie out right now on um streaming and i think it's fantastic i don't know if i brought it up here yet love and monsters have i talked about this film i don't know you've talked about it so much i don't remember if you've talked about it on the podcast possibly I don't think if if anything i may have said i'm watching it or, or so i'm watching this movie and uh, it, it, look it's a rough time right now we're all fucking dealing with a lot of shit i'm sure by the time this airs we'll still be doing the same thing if not worse things could get worse hopefully they don't um knock on wood i won't do that to mess up the the uh, the uh, audio but like so i'm watching this movie gave me joy legitimate and it's it's about a guy who's uh you know it's the end of the world basically and this all the the insects and shit have turned into gigantic fucking monsters and they're they, they'll kill you they just will so human survivors have, have scattered around in little little areas and dylan o'brien is the lead and i've i'm I, look i've i've interviewed him a few times He's one of my favorite people to interview for a number of reasons. He is fun to talk to. He's got a sense of humor. He's just a really nice, legitimately a nice guy. And I really like him as a person. And I also think he's a very, very talented actor. I think he's really good. This movie, man, he fucking kills it because... He, you know, you know, when you watch an actor play vulnerable and you're like calling the whole time, you're like, bullshit, bullshit. You are, you're one yeah. of those guys that's, you're going to tell, I'm watching this and I'm just like, oh, poor, oh, this poor guy. I'm just like, my heart was breaking. It's one of my favorite performances of the year. Dylan, if you're watching this, oh my God. And I've told you this. I literally, the whole fucking, I, I got like, so I did the, um, I interviewed him for the film. And uh, I had people like we. I posted it, and he actually quote tweeted it, and people were like, "Oh my god, you're totally fanboying over the guy." And I'm like, "Yeah," because I it it was a needed watch for me. It was mm. pleasant. It was fun. It made me happy. And it was like, and it was a monster movie. I like monster movies, and I was just like, "Is it so?" Thank you, Dylan. Thank you from the bottom of my Thank heart. You, that was. Yeah, we 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 love Dylan here, so uh, that, was, that was a good movie. You really, 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 really should see it. I highly recommend it. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. And speaking of movies that I still need to check out, I I, I got uh, behind me. I have the the Halloween remake thing from a couple years ago. Oh, good, uh, good. So I, I have it. It's ready to watch. I still need to watch it. I meant to watch Wait. it before. I, you haven't podcast. watched this yet. No. Like, yeah. Christ, oh I know, but it, the reason I bring this up is because um, there's this girl that that comes into my work. She's kind of become like an early morning regular, and okay, uh, she's every instead of giving her real name, she always gives the names of like she'll be like, you know, the thing is, I'll ask her like, what's the name today? And she'll be like, oh, it's Beetlejuice, it's Freddy Krueger, it's it's <laughs> you know, so. We, you know, she's a big horror fan, and I, I brought up that uh, I brought up that movie, and I brought up like, oh yeah, I'm, you know, I'm getting ready to watch it and stuff, and watch it yet, but I'm such a, you know, I'm I'm a big Halloween fan, and she said that she 
uh, didn't like that one. Mm-hmm. She said that it, it was, she said that she hates it because, and I didn't know this, but I guess it, it, it gets rid of the lore that Laurie Strode is, is his sister. Yeah, because it didn't exist in the first film. I there was know there that. was yeah no there was never that or, was or actually planned. I think I did know that I just yeah. forgot about it because it's been a long time since I've seen the originals yeah yeah there was it was never planned so my the Halloween series is such an interesting because I loved it I loved it because I am a Halloween fan when it comes to Daniel not Daniel Harris I love I love Daniel but that storyline is not interesting to me it's always been about Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. Yeah. So I like all those. So when it got into druid cults and all that weird shit, I'm 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 not particularly a fan of four and five and six. I mean, I I, I own them. I've watched them repeatedly, but those aren't the movies that stick with me. And Halloween, 2018, and I've heard other people that don't like it. It's not that's not uncommon, but I believe critically it was it was very well reviewed. Um, yeah. You know, I I love it. I yeah, there's it. there's a and this was interesting because I guess there's there's an interview with Quentin Tarantino where he he was asked about the movie or he was talking about the movie and um I think he was doing some sort of documentary about horror in general. Yeah. And and he was talking about that movie and and sort of what it's but Quentin Tarantino said that the that lore that was created about them being siblings actually ruined it because the idea that he just randomly chose her to chase after her and just relentlessly like relentlessly chase her and try to kill her and her family and her friends is way more terrifying than it was than if it was his sister oh i yeah i agree i agree yeah. and I, I i love the fir- that's why i the Halloween franchise is something you can watch like a choose your own adventure. If you're in the mood for Druid yeah. Colts, you can watch that. If you want to see the the Lori as sister, you can watch one, two, and seven. Uh fuck eight. Uh or you know, or if you just want to see the first one Which and the eight? last one. Eight was resurrection with Bus Ryan. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. uh, there's very few of those. There's only two franchise films i never watch like when it comes to the big three and i mean jason freddy and michael i will not watch i hate halloween resurrection hate it um yeah it wasn't great i I remember being a little kid and i would daily i would watch h2o yeah see i like the show i think legit good movie the other one i won't watch is on freddy's dead nightmare on elm street the final chapter whatever it was i really i really don't like that movie i just i don't find any that one i i may revisit just because i've heard a couple people like it more and uh the only one that i, I was almost at that level was with friday the 13th was jason takes manhattan but now i love it so yeah friday the 13th not even I, I, not jason x i love jason x really I love jason it's great it's so much fun and i, I is it because it's just goofy nonsense it's so much fun, yeah. yeah. It's a, and they know what. They, look, I, I'm. I know Todd, the guy who wrote it. Um, he's one of the coolest guys in the world, first of all. But like, but I saw the movie before I, I got to meet him. Before I, that was weird. Um, sorry, I, I I saw the movie before I got to meet him. So I was a fan of the movie already. But like, um, I dig that film because he knew exactly what he was talking about. All the jokes fit within the within that world. I, I like I like it a lot. I, I think it's a great movie, and I, I I get why people wouldn't. It's totally fair. I mean, none of those movies are like masterpieces. Not a goddamn one. No, no. But I don't really think too many slashers are. Not there's very few. Like Halloween one, is is a is a, a masterpiece. That's a beautifully yeah. done film. Yeah. But and I I think Friday the Thirteenth actually is not given enough credit i think it's a far better film than people give it credit for the original mm-hmm. i and I, again i love them all but like uh oh are you talking about like the criticism of like there's no jason in it there's no J- well yeah obviously no jason the killer 
the the killer is revealed and she, there's like absolutely no hint that she even exists in the world she just shows up and she's like hey i'm the killer yeah. uh but there's something about like the dialogue like when um kevin bacon and uh the girl and I, i'm blanking on her name because i'm getting that to that point uh I, there, there's a whole scene where they're talking about raining blood. She had a nightmare, and it's it rained blood. I love that scene. I think there's there's a lot of moments in that movie that feel genuine. The actors are not, you know, they're not stars, but there's something very genuine and and likable, and and I feel like I could connect to those characters, and I like I like the characters a lot. And that says something in a horror movie. If you if you like the characters that are getting slaughtered, because that was before they became like like big sized versions of these. Like you you have the guy that's a goofy guy. Suddenly he's woohoo! I'm wearing mask. I'm doing this. Uh. But in that one, he's just kind of a goofy guy. Um, yeah. The there was no slut in that. There really was. There wasn't a slut. There was the one girl who really liked Kevin and. Uh, Kevin Bacon. I was Kevin Bacon. Um, I like these characters a lot. And that, and that movie, dude, I saw it. That was the last movie I saw in theaters, literally, because we had the Flicks for oh, Fan right, thing. Right. That I keep mentioning a million times. And I, I, I it was so beautiful. Like it, it looked gorgeous. And the new, the new set is, it's 4K, fucking amazing. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite movies, legitimately. And the, the more I see it, and I've seen it probably 40, 50, 60 times, the more I like it. Yeah, and, you know, I back to Halloween. I, Sorry. I, after, <laughs> I no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I, I was thinking about, because um, after I heard about that Quentin Tarantino thing, I thought, yeah. I that definitely makes sense, but and and I, I can see his point of view on that. And I do, I think, probably for the most part, I agree with it. And That's it got true. me thinking, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, you know, the whole sibling thing kind of doesn't even make sense anyway. Especially, you take Rob Zombie's Halloween, for example. You know, I, that had really the most uh, character development. And, and even in that one, uh, Michael cared for his... So he was like the only person that he actually cared for. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And yeah. loved, and he was killing everybody else. And now all of a sudden, he wants to kill. Him. It doesn't make any fucking sense. So, yeah, you know, I think I think I might agree with uh, old Quentin, old old foot fetish over there. I think there's some truth to that, and I, I that that he's a foot fetish. He's into that, and that that there's definitely truth in that. And there's um, there's definitely truth in that. Sometimes the simpler the better. What's scary is really yeah. what's something really simple and really, and just some dude. And, and, and you know, like the idea that it, well, we can't really talk about the new one because I don't want to spoil anything for you. Because well, I'm but I, for you to see it though. I yeah, I'm gonna definitely watch it. Maybe tonight. But Ooh. um, I I that's what I love. I mean, and again, I'm not really big into horror. Yeah, you're not, which excites but, me that you like Halloween so much, though. But but I think that's why I like it, because it's very simplistic, you know? And that's why I don't get into all these paranormal ones or, or you know, these demonic ones. Because it's like, not only are they or not only are they the same movie over and over again, but... Some are. There, there's a lot of really good ones. And I, I just, I, I love the idea of... It's the same reason why I like The Strangers. Because the premise is like so simple, it's very plausible. Mm-hmm. Because there's no rhyme or reason. You know, you take the strangers. There's that line at the end of that movie where uh, they have them both tied up, and the girl's like, "Why are you doing this?" And the lead girl of the killer group goes, "Because you were home." Mm-hmm. No. And I was like, that- "Fuck!" It's like it's so plausible. It's same thing with Michael My and, ex- and escaped. Uh, uh, you know. What was it like? Psych ward patient. Yeah, just some someone someone loose who decides to go and do something horrible. Yeah, I mean it. Well, that the strangers is actually based on a true story. See, something that can happen. Yeah, and it's it, it's a very creepy. Like one of the versions I read, and I'm probably telling it wrong, but one of the versions I read there was um, 
a house, like in a uh, some kind of community where there's a lot of houses. I'm I'm gonna really fuck this up, but there was a house in there. While uh, I guess something happened, like some people came to this house, and that no one knew what happened, but they started complaining about hearing like things happening, like breaking and all the shit going on, crazy, blah blah blah. And uh, the next thing they when they the the morning the door was open or something somehow they discovered everyone in there was murdered, TVs were thrown. The only thing they left alive was a baby. Something, and I, I'm again, I'm, it, but it was something crazy like that, and it, it was a, and I'm sure it was probably based on a, a group of stories together. A lot of them, when it's like based on a true story, it means, yeah, we heard something like that was cool. Okay, it yeah, means like yeah, cool. it means the most minuscule detail was true. That's like, did you ever hear the true story behind the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yeah, well, it's it Ed is Gein. not even fucking close. No, no, it, it's Ed Gein, and it, it, Ed Gein also inspired Silence of the Lambs. He also inspired Psycho. So, like those three movies were inspired, partially inspired at least by the same character, yeah. same person. There's this awful, weird serial killer, but uh, uh shit. So. Remember, I told you I don't have dreams. Like when I when I'm at this, I haven't had a dream in years. Have oh, I told okay. you this? Um, I've never told you that. I don't. I don't think you've told me that part. Oh yeah, I, I haven't had a dream in um, years. Like I don't remember mm. my dreams at all. Oh, had, but do you think that you're still dreaming? For sure, probably. Okay. But I think once this comes, ha ha this happens, and I'm I'm in this mode. I I just. I, I think it affects the dreaming for me. And it's weird. Oh, sure. I, I don't dream. Last night I had a fucking dream and it was not fun. What happened? Do not, you remember yeah, I remember it. I remember it so fucking well that it felt like it was real. So I was in, I think it was the basement I grew up in back where we had basements. And I remember we had these windows, like, you know, you'd look up and you could see the street. And uh, so in the dream, I'm down in the basement, it's dark. And I see someone walking around there. And I'm like, well, that's kind of fucked up. What are they doing? And then I, I, I noticed they were leaning down into kind of crawl into her window or like look into her window or something. I was like, well, shit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and, uh, and, and shut the window or whatever. Just make sure it's shut or whatever. I went up to this and something like, like that, like someone grabbed my hand. I was like, I literally turned. I was like, "Honey, honey, honey, honey!" Freaked out. I was terrified, absolutely terrified. Like I, I don't need. I can't believe I'm telling you this right now, right before you know. We when we record this, we go to bed after we record this. So like, except for you, you take your weed walk, but or your weed whack. A weed whack. Yeah, weed -whack. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might, I might weed walk. I might watch movies. Weed whack. I might just pass out. I don't know. Yeah, I might weed whack. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Well, so, but then was that the end of the dream? That was the end of the dream. Oh. I, wo I woke myself up because I'm, I, it was, it yeah, was that's, ter that's terrifying. terrifying. Yeah. Terrifying. And, well, I had dreams like that uh, growing up in Utah. I had dreams like that a lot. I used to dream, I used to have the most fucked up dreams ever. Like, as a kid, you I would know, have dreams of <sighs> shit like that. I would have. And even now, every once in a while, I'll have, I'll have a bad dream, but, um, but it's it's like not, it's not all bad. It's not it's not like a total nightmare. There's some goofy elements that make no oh, fucking wow. sense. Where I I wake up and I'm like, what would like even when I'm having a nightmare, my brain can't be serious. <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell, I, I I went through this dream recently on stream uh during one of my twitch streams because there were in the chat there was like a conversation about dreams and I, I i told i had this dream when i was in like fucking fourth grade and i remember it so vividly to this day and um it was it was around the time when freddy versus jason came out mm -hmm. and i had just watched it and I had this dream where I was watching the movie 
and I got sucked into it. Ooh. And all of a sudden, and then for whatever reason, Freddie and Jason teamed up to get me. So I'm like running through. I remember running through this giant cornfield, and I somehow ended up at my aunt's house. And I went in aunt's house, my aunt's house, and and it was like, it was like a safe zone or something. Mm-hmm. So I like chilled and watched a movie. And then like when I left, it was like the chase was on again. So I'm running back through these cornfields, and I jumped into a pool. And then the pool expanded into Crystal Lake, and. Uh, then all of a sudden, um, I'm like, I turn around and I'm face to face with Freddy, and he and he opens up Ooh. one of his one of his little blades, and uh, and then and this is what I was talking about when there's always goofy fucking elements. Um, <laughs> Buzz Lightyear came to save me, and uh, yeah, I know, Buzz Lightyear came to save me. He flew in on his Aww. on his spaceship. He flew in to save me, and uh, but then like Freddie like swaddled him away, and uh, and then that was that. It was a valiant effort, but uh, thus to no avail. And um, did I use that right? Thus yeah, to no avail? sure. I think that works. Someone will know. I Someone will works. know that I'm wrong and call me a fucking idiot. That's fine. You're not. Wrong. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you can. Yeah, yeah. Just be nice about it. If you're gonna call <laughs> us fucking idiots, just be kind of nice about it. Like, be, you know, just be like, hey. Sorry, but you're a fucking idiot. You can yeah, exactly. Apologize, but um, so then I'm like face to face with him, and he pulls out one of his blades, and he goes to stab me, and I grab his, I grab his hand, and I'm like trying to like push it back because it's like right at my stomach. And I remember in the dream thinking like, oh, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, so this isn't gonna hurt, so I can go ahead and let him do it, and so I let him I fucking stab me in the stomach, but like I felt it. Oh, wow. I felt it, and I was, like, yelling, and then he, like, turned me around and stabbed me in the back, and I yelled, and then I'm, like, on my knees, and I can feel the blade, like, scratching on my head, like, he's getting ready to, like, finish me off, stab me through my head, and, like, fucking Jason was standing kind of in front of me with his hands on his knees, like, leaned in, looking at it, at everything going on, and then, and then he spoke. He spoke, and he said, maybe we shouldn't kill him right now. And then I woke up. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's weird. That is weird. That's sort creepy. Of, it is creepy, and it's kind of a weird cliffhanger. Like, in oh 10 years, God. I'm going to be back in that, in that pool lake with a blade on my head and be like, then wasn't the time, but it's now, and then that's going to be it. Have you seen the uh, remake to Friday the 13th? I've watched bits and pieces. I've been meaning to sit down and watch the whole thing. Oh, you should definitely. It's good. It's good. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I, it's a very. It's. I actually tried to watch it when I was around this level, and I found myself like it was just too uncomfortable. There, there's certain movies I, I that I don't want to watch high that are like. Yeah, okay. that's the problem. Like I might watch Halloween tonight, but like should that, I? That that one's an intense one, dude. I Is mean, it really? I, that, yeah, that one's a dark. There's there's one scene. That I'm not going to give away, but it's like people people know what I'm talking about when I just say teeth. Um, it's a, it's it's an unnerving sequence. It's an okay. uncomfortable sequence. So I, I I don't know about you, but I prefer like if I'm going to watch a horror movie, it has to be fun. Like Friday the Thirteenth is totally okay, except for the remake, except for that one. Mm. So I could okay. probably watch Halloween Four and be fine. Yeah, but like not yeah not. Some, and, and not Rob Zombies either. That would be oh, that'd be a uh, grueling. That'd be yeah. a nightmare. Yeah, a nightmare. and especially the guy that they got to play Michael Myers for that one for Rob Zombies. That that fucking like gorilla of a man. Oh my god! Yeah, and he's the nicest guy. Like he's got like this great reputation of being a really cool dude. I've heard. I think I met him once or twice. Um, Who the guy that played him in that? Yeah. Yeah, oh, nice. yeah. So I did the junket for Rob Zombies. Is that how? Oh, that's cool. Me? Yeah, that's cool. So. Yeah, there's a scene where uh, I think Laurie's walking through a hallway, and then Michael slowly lowers himself, but with one arm. Like he was just hanging on with one arm and slowly lower. I'm like, and I believe that's, that that guy is that strong. That was H2O, actually. It's a different guy. 
No, there was a scene in Rob Zombie's like that too. Was there? Which yeah. One? I I haven't seen that one as much. Okay, maybe I'll have to. I don't remember that. I'm yeah. Like, and I was like, he does that a lot in movies. Yeah, but but for that dude, oh. the guy who played him, I'm like, I believe that he can do that, which is terrifying. I know exactly which seniors. Yeah, I, yeah. I do. Yeah, I guess. I think it's right that before he like tackles her out the. Yeah. 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 I. I. Yeah. He's a. He's a badass. He's. A, he's built. He's intense. Yeah. And uh, he's one of those guys that like. It's, it's funny with like horror people. Like they're the nicest people in the world. Like they're a lot of them are just really just they you know they because they it's famous it's famous that sometimes they, when you talk about horror horror filmmakers they get to kind of get all their bad shit out by making a movie yeah so it's like, that's interesting yeah yeah that I guess and you know sometimes when if I'm having a shit day and I'm in my I'm in like a real dark headspace. Um, there's certain music that I'll listen to, but the music you can tell that that artist is is getting dark shit off of their mind. Like they're saying really intense shit. You know they don't mean it, but it's like they have that dark shit on their mind, and they just got to mm-hmm. express it. So it's interesting that um, that that can also be done in like a filmmaking way. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely, man, absolutely. That's yeah, it's like you, you, you know, Wes Craven was one of the nicest guys, very intelligent. Who, you know, was a teacher. He, and he made some truly disturbing fucking movies. I, I don't know if you've ever seen The Last House on the Left. Have you seen that one? I don't think so. It's that's what I mean. I haven't seen most horror movies because I that okay yeah. for the most part that genre I kind of skip over because well, I'm this, a pussy. But you but that's would. Fine. This would make you uncomfortable. I mean, it's okay. basically about um, two girls that decide to go. They go to this concert. They buy some weed. It's the seventies, uh, or was it sixties? No, it was seventies. And uh, um, I, I'm too way too high to get the year. Uh, so they um, they go to this concert. They meet up with these people. They get brutalized. They get just horrible things happen to them, and then they. The, the people who do it end up taking, finding, uh, and end, end up at the parents' house because they, they're running from the law or something, and, and they end up at this, their parents' house hiding out. And the parents don't know what has happened. They have no idea, but they find out. And it, it's, fuck. It's, it's not terribly gory. It's not terribly... But the, just the, the 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 violence and the the kind of the ideas are so just disturbing. I know Sean S. Cunningham worked on this film. Like a lot of these guys started with this film. It's a really I I recommend it. I I don't know if it's great. There's a comic relief thing in there with a couple cops, which is just stupid as shit. But like I when they I love it. Wasn't wasn't Jennifer Lawrence in the remake of that? No. Um Who am I thinking was, of? Uh the girl, she's really great. It's a good remake too, except for the very end. Um she's not a name though. She was in Shark Knight, I believe. Her name she well, she is a name, but she, for more for genre. It wasn't Je, your Jennifer Lawrence did a um another another one of those movies it was a pg-13 horror film it was terrible yeah, yeah terrible. it was because it, it was like very early in her career something about the, the 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 house on the the end of the road or something. oh maybe I, that's what it was okay yeah, yeah. something like that I, I, that's not the name but there's something along that line yeah the house down over where you are yeah that's it was it was pretty much that there, that's a. I think we could, if we could do the show in 3D, that would be so amazing. Like, not if you're just listening, obviously, but if, if you're actually watching us, this would be cool. <laughs> no, because then it would just be like an hour of you pointing in people's faces. <laughs> you you don't think that'd be fun? <laughs> wow. I mean, it would be for you. Yeah, maybe that's where my mind is. That's yeah. that's. You would enjoy it too, I think. Secretly, I would too. You would enjoy it. Yeah, would you too. would. You would laugh. But I'm still not laugh. an audience member, so I think 
Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah, man. I'm just uh, wow. How, how are you feeling right now? I feel good. I packed a special bowl for the show. Sweet. Um, yeah, I put it's. I got this uh, this strain called Milk and Cookies. Oh, lovely! So I put that in there, and I put some keef on top. Are you familiar with keef? I am not. Explain. So keef is, and I'm probably still going to get this wrong. Okay. Because I'm sure there's probably like some crazy stupid weed expert that's going to watch this show and be like fucking posers, but whatever. Um, it's fine. <laughs> but so keef is is like uh, it's like crystal lights that are on top of the actual bud. So if when you grind up uh, actual weed, uh, like the bud, there's like these little, it's like a fine powder almost uh, that falls off. And what that is, it's THC crystal lights. And it's like a little fine powder. Uh, but because of that, it's, it's basically pure, pure THC. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and when you have wow. a grinder and you've, you know, grinded up plenty of weed over time, there's a special compartment that... On a lot of grinders, there's a special compartment that collects the keef, and you'll have a shitload of keef after a while. So, and it even comes with like a little scraper type of thing, where you can scrape up some and place it, place some of it in your bowl. Hmm. On top is like a nice little ooh, it's like the frosting on a cake, and uh, yeah. So I, I put some keef in there. Oh, so, okay. And it gets you stupid high because it's pure. But you know what? That's what we do. That's how we yeah. do it here at Something Stony. That is correct. That is uh, absolutely. Uh, it's well. It's funny because like, I hate dealing with horror when I'm high. So I think that's why I don't know if you've noticed horror doesn't come up really when on the show that much. Yeah. Yeah. Not like I, I can. I, I got a. <laughs> I got a way to sort of redirect it back to hbo max the 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 oh, thing good. that got me to investigate this was and and find out what i did find oh. out i got fucking lied to um is when i was looking through the hbo max catalog uh first of all this one would spend the rest of the episode coughing <clears throat> <laughs> First of all, they had Mad TV. Do you, did you ever watch Mad TV? Barstone. Here we go. Yeah, of course. <laughs> wow, I love it. <laughs> um, so we we just like we had this moment of relapse, I think, and we're both kind of we're juggling between a couple of subjects, and suddenly I realized I actually had family duties to do, and so suddenly duty. we're having to take duty, duty, not that kind of duty, more like just kind of the you know uh like call of duty call of duty exactly um it's it's, it's a war zone out there but um the great. beauty of editing we can actually stop and 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 get back to the show and it's it's i feel like we should tell i think i think we should be transparent about this we, we should be transparent sometimes sometimes stuff gets cut out very rarely do we cut shit out of this. Very rarely. How much you cut? Like, it, what does it take for you to say, "Yeah, fuck that"? I'm like, I'm not honestly, that. honestly, the only things I ever cut out are, uh, um, like, if we mention something that we don't want to be <laughs> in the final cut but we always catch those things on the show so yeah, it's easy kinda. to find those things and or things that um like technical difficulty kind of things where like earlier when i was uh which nobody will have seen but um some notifications popped up on my computer and i just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to come through the recording audio so there was some dialogue about that, it, it, shit like that. That's the only stuff I ever cut. I never really cut any parts of the conversation. Which is, it's. I think that's what's kind of crazy for me because we were talking about podcasts in general and how that. I think that's what I like the idea. I, I, every week, dude. Every week we do this. I, I think of a name and I think of how we did this. Now, and we've told a few times on the show probably something stony. And it was just kind of this thing that happened. And it really is. There is not a better name for this show. 
It is. And you know what? It gives us the per perfect uh, cop-out for when things get a little too stony. Because when they're yeah. like, what the fuck are they talking about? They can't remember any any of the topics that they're talking about. And it's like, yeah, that's you clicked on something. St like, you know, you knew what you were getting into. I mean, I, 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 for me, I know I'm, I'm there, but it's like I want to... I want to continue talking, but it's kind of I'm 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 in this weird place. How you you have something special going on? I I like to watch this. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, you can live. I mean, I know you don't really uh, smoke yeah, your, your yeah. weed, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, I, I can see that you enjoy living vicariously through me since I exclusively smoke my weed. Yes, I, I, you know, it's I, I've done it a few times, like on the on very rare occasions. It's just I don't really like the smoke part at all. And I, I mean, I don't I like the feeling it gives you, but it's yeah, it's yeah, I just I don't I don't really like Makes you that look cool as shit. Kids. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I, yeah, it's it's funny how like like when this this thing happened, how. I'm still blown away how weed was essential. Like those stores were open; they never shut down, and I I love that. Like, I kind yeah. of love that actually. Yeah, I love, that's what I mean. Look, I if you're gonna keep Starbucks open, you better keep weed shops open. There is no reason why why fucking frappuccinos are a priority or an essential. Bit. Like you know, people that. I don't know. And and people said like, well, it's because they also sell food. And it's like, well, there's plenty of other places to sell food that are closed right now. It's I, I think I think Starbucks staying open was uh, a planned move because I think it was a way to sort of keep order a little bit because it's a part of so many people's routines that it's like, let's at least still give them this shred of normalcy. You know, and it does sell food and drinks and shit. Yeah. So like that's how they can justify it. But I think it was I think it was meant to just sort of keep keep people content because it's like, okay, you still get to keep this part of your day. Maybe. You know? Yeah. It kind of keeps people calm. Just like weed. I think that I think that the government as a whole is still very much against weed. So I don't think they're looking at it from a medicinal purpose. I think they're looking at it like so many people do this. And it keeps people complacent. So, like, yeah, we're just gonna deem them essential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, or I'm I, wrong. I don't know. That I mean, it's it's it kind of borders on conspiracy. Like, it, it kind of kind borders of. on that. Like, I, I and I get the sentiment. I, I I I I think it's just simply that. Like, I can't think of really many like food stores that were closed. You know, and you guys do sell food, and 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 I'm sorry. Those drinks, that Starbucks, that's essential to me, man. See, and that's what I mean. Like, like that right there, that's how so many people are. And myself included, yeah. you know. And, yeah. and and if you get to keep that, it can it can sort of like keep you – can like, okay, I still get this treat. I'm not mm – -hmm. it keeps so you awesome. – you're still on the cusp of insanity, but you're like this fucking – all this sugar is making me happy. I, I want to ask you this, and I don't think I've asked you this before. I, I'm, I don't think I've ever asked you this before. How do you feel when Nine someone inches. comes up? Yeah, well, I know that. Okay. You know, um, such a dumb joke. That's really bad. That is so. That's is that, that's not a dad joke. That's just what. What kind of joke is that? A dumb one. Fair Which enough. Is not great. It's also it's, kind of. I don't know. It's kind of. I don't know. Anyway. Weird. <laughs> You're like, this is a scene. That's what we cut out. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> where I don't, I have no. Oh, you were gonna uh, ask me a question. Yeah, about Starbucks. Um, how do you feel? Because I've done this recently a couple of times. How do you people? How do you feel when someone comes in and goes, "Yeah, I want this. It's on the secret menu." Oh, <sighs> the secret menu shit's dumb anyway. There's no such thing. Okay. It's Let me awesome, tell everyone though. this right now. Let me tell okay. everyone this right now. It's a big there reveal. There's no such thing as the secret menu. Every secret menu item is just a very, very subtle variation of shit that we already have. 
like remember when the it frappuccino was out yeah. i think it was it chapter two was out and it's like it's the it frappuccino it's literally a vanilla bean frappuccino uh which is a normal menu item it's just you just drizzle some of the strawberry puree sauce that we have on top so it looks like blood that's it and it's the it frappuccino it's like that with everything else Every, so, the cotton, like the cotton yeah. candy frappuccino, that's one that we still have people coming in and getting. It's a vanilla bean with raspberry syrup. You're that's you're it. kind of destroying my like. I th- see that was my conspiracy. I thought that was like this cool secret menu I knew about. I felt no. like I was cool. That sucks, man. It's just it, it's just <sighs> it's just people come. It's people that know how to order things. So they get it a certain way and then – or even employ a lot of times it's employees since they obviously know everything and different things that you can do with it. They'll kind of make their own little concoction and, and it goes viral. And then now it's its own drink. And well, the most absurd thing – see, this is the problem with – people thinking that there's an actual secret menu is that they'll come up to you and be like, I want the cotton candy frappuccino. And you're like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. And, and, and unless they have, and I, so many times I've been showed, I showed, I've been shown. You showed, I showed you. I might cut that out. I don't know. No, I think because it took me way too long to realize that I was saying that wrong. That was really funny though. (laughs) So many times, I I I got showed this thing. Oh gosh, dude! I don't even. I don't. I don't. I don't think I speak half that. I'm. Yeah, no. I got showed a picture. I got showed a picture. I got showed a picture of it was. They pull up TikTok and they pull up a TikTok video. That's like, here's what you do. And it's like this stupid me. Here's what you do to the, you know, and then you add this, this, Jesus Christ, dude, this is getting <laughs> bad. This is getting bad. This is what you add. Tell your barista that you would like this with this and then this and then this. And then you have the fucking unicorn rainbow shit frappuccino. And, and, and so you're just fucking like, it's so mortifying. Because it's just like dance monkey dance, make this fairy tale drink for me, and you're like fucking here you go. So yeah, that's there was another one that I got a lot: the strawberry shortcake frappuccino. Oh gosh, or strawberry strawberry cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake. I think whatever one of those, and it sounds amazing, right? It's literally just a strawberry frappuccino, but you know the little strawberry pieces uh-huh. that that are in like the refreshers. You just blend it with some of those. And then maybe string, oh. sprinkle a little bit of them on top. That's it. That's the cheesecake part. Well, I want, I want to, I want my banana split one because I love that one. The banana split? Oh, yeah. I think I've had that one. It's good. Yeah. It's good. But they literally, but like you just add a banana. And, and you can do shit. that anytime. Yeah. Yeah, you can. You add like certain little. Like I, I learned to do that today. I actually, I'm very excited about this. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Okay. Okay. Fuck. I ordered a pumpkin crap, add a banana, and add that strawberry, whatever shit, that shit, that strawberry shit. The puree. Put, you puree, yeah, that, that. Put that in with a little caramel. Oh my, it's like, it, it's like a, a banana split with a pumpkin, and it was really good. Wow. Really legit good. I, I, this, this is, a, we could do a whole show on like drinks you could make <laughs> yeah i mean I, I i don't really it's there i will admit there are a lot of times where people give you those drinks and you're like i gotta try that because it it's yeah. always sometimes there's one that's really unique and <coughs> and you're like maybe they're on to something so yeah i don't mind it what's your favorite secret drink then the banana split was good i yeah i had there's a um Starbucks, it's in a Target, I think in Burbank, but they'll actually advertise some of these viral drinks and be like, we have the It Frappuccino, we have the Banana Split. So I got the banana, that one was, I really like that one a lot. We, we, see, we have a lot in common, so that weirdly doesn't surprise me. 
And now I'm like, yeah, because that's that's my Look, favorite by anything, far. Anything, anything banana, I'm in. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, it's the best thing. I love it. Is. But the problem with banana, it's never um, like if you get it's banana, never long enough. <laughs> Make them longer. That's right. <laughs> what kind of fucking amateur do you think I am? Oh. Wow. You hear that banana company? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, fuck, we... now I'm going to start coughing. <laughs> oh shit. Maybe we should do the closer real quick cuz I think we I think we I think we've I don't mind talking more, but I think we've reached the point. I for show wise, I, I think, think we're just getting started. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. I I feel so so stupid. Like, like just insanely stupid right now, and in not in a bad way. I just feel like you just feel bad at math. I feel very bad at math. I, I showed them. I showed it. Showed it. You showed it. Look, we all make I mistakes. I've made about 20,000 tonight. <laughs> so I learned and I grew. What more do you want from me? You grew? I grew. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, maybe we probably should stop. I don't know. You know what? You, I'm sold now. <laughs> I yeah, I'm so. Oh gosh, wow. All right, well, let's go ahead and call it. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for watching. Uh, it's been a great episode. Um, <laughs> it's been very stony. Um, yeah, lots of stony today. No, we 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 appreciate the love and uh, we love you too. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We do. We love you. And um, as always, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Justin underscore butts. You can follow me on Instagram uh, at Justin butts 94. And, uh, you know, any filmmakers that want to link up and maybe Hire have, you? A, have an actor. Yeah, dude, I do it all. You do? You, you act? I act. Jesus. Yeah, I know, dude. Yeah. It's almost like. That's what I originally came out here for. And then the world shut down. So weird. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. How about you? Where can people find you? Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm all over. Uh, sounds scary right here on uh, Viddy Space. Um, I, uh, I'm on JoeBlow.com, AaronTheHead.com, uh, WeLive.com, all that Twitter shit and all the Instagram and everything really – any social media i'm on pro i'm probably under jimmy to the o or james oster so one of those all right fantastic well thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time <laughs>